of corn can slip out. We fix those with the handyman's secret weapon, duct tape. Hey, we got a little bit of a foggy morning there, don't we, in the fall here. Yep. I got to get ready to pick corn, so I guess that's what I'm going to work on. Get the corn picker ready, get the elevator ready, move things around in the corn crib, so. Neat looking fog out there this morning. Makes a good picture. ready to start picking because I'm going over the tires and putting some air in them and no sooner change the one front tire than this other one started getting interesting. I'll see how far it goes. Put a little air in that one. That tire's got fluid in it. Got some calcium in there. Now everybody's favorite job, greasing. There's a lot of grease fittings on here. <laughs> Some of them are hard to get to. I guess I'll get to greasing. Right, right in there is a whole line of them. Whole gang of them right there. At least those are easy to get to. The ones underneath are kind of hard. Don't bother him a bit. <laughs> well, we got them all greased up, and as you can see, we make liberal use with of old burnt engine oil on all the chains. Make sure everything's lubricated up as good as it can get. And any places it's Rust it out where corn can slip out. We fix those with the handyman's secret weapon, duct tape. Yep. I guess that'll hold up. Should anyway. What do you think, Snoopy? Gonna hold up under there? I guess there's nothing left to do but go ahead out there and try to pick a little bit. See what happens. It's a hot day for the end of October. Up near 80 degrees. I'll take it. I don't think it's too bad of years for just having uh, shelled the corn <laughs> off of what I picked last year, shelled it right from the corn crib, put it in the planter, stuck her in the ground, didn't even put the fertilizer on it. It uh, just some cow manure. I don't think it's too bad. Didn't spray either, as you can see. <laughs> Cultivated this field. If you don't believe me, you can watch the video. Cultivating with my old John Deere 50. But I thought these ears were pretty good for what they are. Non GMO. Stuff to feed cows with anyway.
I guess I'll finish my little test load. I got some small ones too, <laughs> nubbins on the ends, you know. Ain't the greatest, but gives a cow something to gnaw on, I guess. Hey, before we put the corn in the corn crib, which is where I'm standing, it's usually a little bit in there left that we gotta do something with. So I ground up a full load and dumped it in the barn, and a, a half a load ground up that I'll later on grind some new corn and mix with that. But uh, I gotta move this corn, I guess, over towards the door over there where it'll be ground up early <laughs> before it deteriorates anymore. So, I guess I better get to work. need the corn elevator I gotta go down in the cow field and drag it up from where it's been sitting as a rubbing post for the cattle for since last fall gotta pull it up here oil it up put an electric motor on there that's the only way to run an elevator with an electric motor you put a tractor on there if a chain comes off or breaks or something the tractor will just keep on turning and mash a lot of stuff up but his electric motor will just stall the chain comes off you unplug it put the chain back on and go on about your business you got a tractor on there running with the pto heaven help you man you want to bust up more stuff than you can imagine so anyhow that was some of my dad's wisdom can't take credit for that You gotta turn this thing by hand, there's a lot of cranking to get this thing to go up high enough to go inside that top of that crib over there, corn crib. Where's some kids when you need them? You gotta take it up. Just about got it. I gotta climb up and take the top off. Always fun. Looks like I gotta do a little creative metal work on this apron here. We'll make something happen. Well, I think this will hold most of the grain, get it to funnel down in there. Got a little clamp holding this end together, so we'll be alright. Got that unloaded now. Just gotta keep on picking and putting it away in the corn crib. Catch you later. And the pigs over here. What you got on your face, huh? <laughs> they don't like the ground corn. They won't eat it if it's got the...